Right in It's time to witness the wetness. This is Innuendo Bingo. Nathan Sykes is here and he's pretty excited about it today, it's got to be said. I'm a proper fan of this. <laughs> I love it. I think this is going to be a wet one. Yeah? So I, I'm happy to say this from the off. I, oh. think, it's, uh, I think it's on. Just okay. A, have you been discussing technique? Uh, yeah, I was, ask, I was asking Will. I was like, what, what's the best technique? I was, I was like, yeah. Yeah, I, I want to be. I want to be good at it. And what did Will say? Just spray him. Um, yeah, it, it's almost like you're trying to blow it out your mouth. That's the and, one, and not dribble it down your chin. That's the one. What a conversation to have. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, Nathan Sykes' song sounds amazing. I wasn't expecting that, says someone. I think that's good. Oh, cheers. Yeah. Um, Joe from Hull says, cheeky break from German revision for Inu and a Bingo. Ooh. Okay, let's do it then. Yeah. Nathan, fill your mouth with water. There's a no hands rule, so if it's going to come out, it goes out over in the bin. Not really. Or over Chris's face. Right. Ready? All the water, please, as much as you can fit in your mouth. Let's make it a wet one, lads. First one of the week. We start on BBC Two from last night. Now, it was a very cold day yesterday, but that didn't stop the Spring Watch team because they're always busy trying to find more and more exotic things to film with their cameras. And uh, listen to how excited this guy is about his first find. Now, of course, despite the weather, our live cameras are all up and running out there. Let's go to one of them right away. Let's go to the bearded tit now. Let's have a look. <laughs> <laughs> that's the one, Nathan. Wow, Nathan. that's we um, it's cold, right? Yeah, mm. it's fine. The first one's the hardest one. Now we're on. Yeah, yeah, we're on. Okay, good. Well, oh, that hair's going to get a drenching, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So there we are. Spring right. watch starting us off. Let's go to one of them right away. Let's go to the bearded tit now. That's amazing. Let's have a look. Amazing. Well, I suppose a beard would keep uh, things <laughs> quite warm in the cold weather if you were yeah. a bird called the yeah. bearded tit yeah, so course. thank you very much yeah. to luke for that one fill your mouths please next on nathan sykes in your bingo over to bbc newcastle and in their news bulletin they've got a big scoop on a cabinet minister and what he gets up to with the workman in his house Ian Duncan Smith, the Conservative Work and Pension Secretary, says he'd never ask for a receipt for a cash and hand job. <laughs> right, Nathan. <laughs> yep, yeah, all fine. That was a cash in hand job oh, there, geez. which means uh, wow. it didn't go through the books. He'd never ask for a receipt for a cash and hand job. There we are. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing! Good game, this, right? It is cracking. <laughs> oh, wow. dear. Sophie Nottingham is loving it already. So is Robin Harrogate. More water, please. Okay. Now, let's get the latest from the England New Zealand test match now. And it's innuendo bingo legend Jonathan Agnew commentating. Love Aggers. The thing about him is, wherever he sees someone on the cricket pitch, he cannot help but imagine what it would be like to encounter them in the changing rooms. After the match, the stewards are vacating. Thankfully, off they go. Well, the menacing chap there, the large black beard, uh, heading off over the boundary. Wouldn't like to uh, cross swords with him necessarily. <laughs> Just a little one there. Just a little wee from the mouths. Nothing too, too severe. Uh, heading off over the boundary. Wouldn't like to uh, cross swords with him necessarily. Dominic and Sam emailed us. You would, us. Yeah. You wouldn't want to do that, would you? You wouldn't want to do that. No, it's fine. No, it okay. would not be ideal. We are. Um, having some more water please okay. and we're going to last year's Tour de France now and on the course after a long day in the saddle it sounds like one rider's had a very nasty accident listen to this a nine minute deficit at the moment for Alberto Contador and the skid marks left on the road after the fall were over a hundred meters long <laughs> 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 now that is that was unexpected. That is long. And the skid marks left on the road after the fall were over a hundred meters long. Wow. Oh. Okay. Wow. Jeez. <laughs> no, nobody wants that. No, you don't. Oh. Okay. How are you Got feeling, it? mate? You all right? Uh, yeah, cracking. Yeah. 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 Very wet now. Yeah. Yeah. Do you ever change clothes? Um. Yeah, I do actually. You do. Good. Yeah, I was, I'm prepared. Yeah. Uh, okay. More water. Ready. Over to the one show now from last week, and Alex Jones interviewing a new friend of hers who she's given the nickname Party Pete. And when you listen to this clip, it will suddenly become clear why. Um, so we're going to put Party Pete, that's what we're going to call him, on the floor here. I'm going to hold his helmet. 
<laughs> Alex Jones. Um, so we're going to put Party Pete, that's what we're going to call him, on the floor here. Great. I'm going to hold his helmet. Party Pete there, he was a uh, motorcycle stunt rider. Lovely, lovely <laughs> Pete. Well done, Gary, for spotting that one for us. It's bracing, isn't it? Yeah. It's pretty cold now. Surely, um... How, where is it seeping through at the moment? Shirt? Trousers? Yeah, kind of everywhere. Everywhere, yeah. Yes, yeah. it's... Uh... it's really, what's really nice is when you uh, get up and try and walk. Oh, great. It feels mm. like you may have messed yourself. Awesome. So look forward to that at the end of the game. I, I can't wait. Over to a documentary on BBC Two last week now called Demolition, The Wrecking Crew. And this man has had to do some pretty strange things in his line of work. But never anything like this before. We in? Nobody in? Nope. Property's empty. Unfortunately, we've had to knock his back door in. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Nathan, you are giving really good spray. A, that was a big one. <laughs> yeah, you're just... That's a big one. Sorry. Wow. <laughs> really good spray. Unfortunately, we've had to knock his back door in. Especially for a newbie. Wow. Water, please. And thank him well for the advice on the technique, by the yeah, way. Yeah. Well, the producer there, yeah. he, he does it again. It's like a hose to the face, <laughs> that was. Yeah, I know, you are pretty wet. Yeah. I'm glad, because most people don't give it as much as you. And no. You, Nathan is. <laughs> um, water, please. That guy sounds so shocked to have done it, doesn't he? Here's a few more of his thoughts. This is the first time that this ever happened to me that we've actually had to knock somebody's door in, and it's sort of not, it's not the most pleasant thing. <laughs> Apparently, uh, knocking his back doors in was the only way to tell that no one was in there. It was a, a block of flats that they were about to knock down. You're right there, Nathan. OK. Thanks very much to Rich for that one. All right, then, and we'll uh, finish off the wetness with a few classics now. Now, let's take this one from Lisa Tarbuck on BBC Radio 2. And off the back of this song, it sounds like... Maybe Lisa just kind of grabbed the first email she could find and started reading it, which is never a good idea. Water, please. <laughs> oh, particularly lovely version. Uh, big up to my wife, Annette, please. Big up, Annette. She spent the afternoon perched on top of my gentleman's lodge. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 Oh, wow. You spray so hard it takes the laugh away. It's really oh, good. You know what I mean? Like it, no, it's good. You start laughing. Oh, and it's good. Yeah. Sorry, I do apologize. No, it's, it's unbelievable force. <laughs> oh, thanks. You think one day... It's a compliment, though. Do you think one day, if I ever get on Radio 2, I'll be that... that uh, I mean, in a lovely way, yeah. mad. <laughs> the attention detail is, yeah. I think Greg James oh. is saying, yes, you will. I'll be playing weird music for no reason and having a tannoy to announce people. <laughs> Big up, Pete! She spent the afternoon perched on top of my gentleman's lodge. <laughs> Just FYI, Lisa now has a puppet that squeaks sometimes during the show <laughs> to say hello to people. That's, that's, what, that's my ideal. That's what I want. OK, now on the subject of reading things before you go on air... Water, please. <laughs> Chris, oh, you're, no, Chris, you're oh, Sorry, I'm in a bit of shock. <laughs> <laughs> Who remembers this okay. clip of Gary Lineker from last year's Commonwealth Games? <laughs> now, Gary really wished he hadn't been taken by surprise by this particular competitor's name. And a little earlier, uh, Kimberly... <laughs> Chris... <laughs> Chris has heard this before. Is this, is this yeah. Shashila? I don't know. I, can't, yes. I don't know. I'm not, the, I'm not going to say, name. right? Right. Just fill up. Sorry. I might nice. struggle with this Sorry, one, <laughs> And a little earlier, uh, Kimberly Rennix won Scotland's first gold in the 48 kilogram category. She beat uh, Shashila uh, Lick My Balm. A great win for her, I think. <laughs> <laughs> still my favourite. I'd forgotten about her. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, Shashila. Oh, Shashila. <laughs> Water, please. <laughs> oh, he's had some surprise. Mm. Oh, dear. Water, uh, please. Yeah, this is, um... This is... Here we go. Damp. All right, lads. Mm. Yeah. Nathan's grabbing another water. Fill your cheeks. Okay. And here we go. She beat uh, Shishlilla uh, Lick My Balm. 
Or what he can do to hold it. If you need to let it out, now you can let it out. You're good? Oh, look at the pain on his face. Water, please. On Radio 4, however, they always absolutely nail these things, like in this sports bulletin. Kimberly Rennicks won Scotland's first gold, beating India's Sushila Likmabam. <laughs> 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 yes! And that oh. was a very wet well done, mate. Nathan Sykes in your bingo. Well played. Oh. Oh. Nobody really oh. wins, but Nathan, well you won. Are you okay? I'm great. Yes? Yes. Do you, do you regret this? Uh, absolutely not. Good. That was Nathan Sykes in your bingo. Uh, if you couldn't see it live, remember, we'll oh. put it on iPlayer later. We've got our own programme on iPlayer now called Innuendo Bingo, so you can watch it whenever you want on the Radio 1 channel. Nathan, good luck with the single. We Thank look forward to the much. album. Thank you for having me. And um, we need to get this man a towel immediately. Yeah, we got a towel. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know whether we have. All right, thanks, Brilliant. Nathan. Cheers, guys. Hey, 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 hey.